Planet Nine is the search for this elusive world nearly over. Planet Nine, Planet X, Nibiru, Wormwood, various names for it. Astronomers have been scouring the outer solar system for signs of a hypothetical ninth planet for almost a decade without success. However, we may finally be on this cusp of finding it, experts say. And deep in the outer reaches of the solar system, so far away from the known planets that the sun would barely be distinguishable from a nearby star, a massive icy world may be lurking in the shadows waiting to be discovered by humanity. And the day that we finally find this elusive planet may be coming soon, thanks to a state-of-the-art telescope that will begin scanning the sky next year. The solar system has eight official planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. It was Pluto, but uh, that was downgraded to, uh, we'll just talk that later. But in recent years, astronomers have proposed that a ninth world, imaginatively nicknamed Planet Nine, could be hiding in the far reaches of our cosmic neighborhood. And no, we're not talking about Pluto, which was demoted from full planetary status to a dwarf planet in 2006. Instead, scientists believe Planet Nine is a gas or ice giant billions of miles further out than the rest of the planets. If it exists, it could also rewrite our understanding of the solar system's origins and evolutions. Astronomers have predicted how big this hypothetical world could be, how far away it could be, it could lie, and even where it should be in its orbit around the sun. Yet, actually finding Planet Nine, sometimes called Planet X, has eluded scientists for nearly a decade. But the hunt for the solar system's potential ninth planet may soon be coming to a close, with the opening of the groundbreaking Vera C. Rubin Observatory in 2025. We may either finally find Planet Nine within the next few years, or rule out the idea for good, experts told Life Science. It's really difficult to explain the solar system without Planet Nine. Mike Brown, astronomer at Caltech, who proposed the Planet Nine hypothesis along with colleague, told Life Science, he says, but there is no way to be 100% sure it exists until you see it. The Planet Nine hypothesis, the idea of a ninth planet in the solar system, was first seeded by the discoveries of Uranus in 1781 and Neptune in 1846, more than 3,000 years after the other planets were first spotted by the Babylonians. These discoveries proved that the solar system was much larger than human, humanity once thought and raised the possibility that other worlds were waiting to be discovered. But other than the now demoted Pluto, no full-fledged planet beyond Neptune or the Kuiper Belt, a massive ring of asteroids, comets, and dwarf planets that orbit the Sun beyond Neptune, have shown up since. And as astronomers mapped more of the outer solar system, it seems increasingly unlikely that they were missing something as large as a planet. However, a 2004 discovery changed that. Scientists found that Sedna, a potential dwarf planet located beyond the Kuiper Belt, had a weird orbit around the Sun. Its unusual trajectory hinted that another large mass in the outer solar system was gravitationally pulling on the mini-world, but without more information, this hypothesis was hard to prove. So obviously something is affecting the outer planets. Now, and then in the 2014 study, astronomers announced that they had detected a smaller object in the Kuiper Belt named 2012 VP113 with an eccentric orbit similar to Sedna's. The findings also hinted that more eccentric trans-Neptunian objects, TNOs, were waiting to be found. These findings caught the attention of Brown and fellow Caltech astronomer Konstantin Batigan, who noticed that both Sedna and 212 VP113 had the same kink in their orbits. This shared irregularity, which causes the objects to briefly dip below the known planet's plane of orbit, suggested that something such as an asteroid clump or a dwarf planet or even a full-fledged planet was tugging on these objects. And at the beginning, 
we did not, they said, say there was a planet because we thought that was a ridiculous thing for there to be. Brown, who also co-discovered Sedna and was instrumental in Pluto's planetary demotion, told Live Science, but we tried a lot of different things to explain what we were seeing and nothing else worked. Even after the pair realized a ninth planet was possible, or Planet X, they discovered to sit on their fi they decided to sit on their findings until they could come up with another less controversial explanation. However, they then found four more TNOs with matching misshaped orbits, which suddenly made a missing planet look like the most logical explanation. At the time, the duo calculated that there was just a two percent chance that all six TNOs they had studied shared the, their orbital oddities thanks to random chance. And as soon as you see that, you're like, oh, crap, there's a planet there, Brown said. So in 2016, Brown and Badigan published their Planet 9 hypothesis, which has captured the public's imagination ever since. And filling in the gaps, since 2016, Brown, Badigan, and others have continued the hunt for Planet 9, Although they have not found it yet, they have discovered even more eccentric TNOs, bringing the to total to 13 now. So this further strengthens the case for Planet 9 or Planet X being out there. These discoveries also constrain Planet 9's potential size, its distance from the Sun, and its orbital trajectory through the solar system. Quote, our best estimates are that it's about seven times more massive than Earth, end quote or anywhere between five and ten times the mass of our planet, Brown said. This would make it the fifth most massive planet in the solar system beyond Jupiter and Saturn, Neptune and Uranus, he said. Planet 9's composition is probably most like Neptune due to the distance from the Sun, Brown said. That's what, that's, that would put its diameter at something like two times the width of our Earth. Some scientists have also suggested Planet 9 could be surrounded by moons, just as hefty giant gases are also surrounded by their moons. So, if it exists, Planet 9 or Planet X is likely around 500 astronomical units away from the Sun on average, meaning it's 500 times farther from the Sun than our Earth is, which is uh, 1 AU is 1 uh, unit of AU is Earth to Sun distance is 93 million miles. This may sound distant, but similarly sized exoplanets have been discovered orbiting alien stars at equally massive distances showing that it's possible. This far out, it could take between 5,000 and 10,000 years for Planet 9 to complete a single trip around the Sun. Its orbit is probably highly elliptical, so its distance from the Sun would vary widely over time. It also is likely does not orbit the sun on the same plane as the rest of the planets, which makes it even trickier to find. Planet 9's Unusual orbit and extreme distance from the Sun also raise the possibility that it could be a rogue planet, an interstellar world that was captured by the Sun after being ejected from its star system. However, Brown and Badigan believe Planet 9 likely formed alongside other planets in our solar system. Is it really out there? Many astronomers are cautioning optimistic, cautiously optimistic about Planet 9's existence. It is quite likely that Planet 9 exists, Alessandro Morbidelli, astronomer at the Côte d'Azur Observatory France, said. There are several indirect lines of evidence in favor of its existence, Morbidelli said, who reviewed Brown and Badigan's 2016 paper before its publication. David Rabonowitz, astronomer astrophysicist at Yale University, agreed that something is likely out there and Planet 9 is the best explanation so far, he said. The discoveries of additional eccentric TNOs since Planet 9 was first proposed have maintained confidence in this theory, he said. But not everyone is convinced that Planet 9 is real. Of course, they have to see it first. It's been a roller coaster. I've, been, I've gone from thinking it was 90% there to 10% all around. Sean Raymond, a researcher at Bordeaux Astrophysics Laboratory in France, says, I'm rooting for it to be there, but I'm still agnostic on whether I believe it's there, he said. Doubts about Planet 9 are rooted in alternative potential explanations for the strange behavior seen among the TNOs. For instance, the gravitational anomalies Brown and Badigan flagged might be caused by a baby black hole, 
an invisible giant disk of dust, or a historic close encounter with a rogue planet. Alternatively, the TNOs may be evidence that our model of gravity needs to be tweaked. Others believe that apparent TNO kinks are simply an observational bias because it's easier to spot TNOs that are closer to Earth than more distant ones. Samantha Lawler, astronomer at University of Regina in Canada, prominent critic of Planet Nine Hypothesis said, I believe that there are a lot of really interesting bodies left to discover in the outer solar system, Lawler said, but Planet Nine is not one of them, she says. However, Brown and Batigan discount the notion that observational bias is created, creating the illusion of the ninth planet. Brown said, I'm as confident as you can possibly be that Planet Nine exists until you actually find it. Why haven't we found it? So if Planet Nine does exist, why haven't we spotted it yet? The short answer to that is that uh, it could be very, very far away, Brown said. Light reflected off the planet would be very dim by the time it traveled across most of the solar system twice, which makes it all but impossible to see. Initially, the researchers also had no idea where the planet was along its predicted orbital path. That means they've had to study a huge region of the sky to look for this faint body, akin to trying to find a single white whale in an ocean, Brown said. So far, researchers have analyzed thousands of images from multiple sky surveys along Planet Nine's proposed orbital pathway, looking for objects that move over time, Brown said. Unfortunately, the night sky is teeming with bright moving objects such as comets, so the researchers have to sort uh, through a lot of garbage to find the planet, Brown said. In their most recent work, Brown and Batigan analyzed the data from Panoramic Survey Telescope Rapid uh, Response System, PANSTARS for short, at the Haleakala Observatory in Hawaii, and confidently ruled out 78% of the subject suspected orbital pathway as possible hiding places for the planet. This narrowed down Planet 9's location to somewhere in the, fr the most distant 22% of the orbital pathway. Unfortunately, telescopes like PANSTARS are not powerful enough to properly search this space. Now, when will we find it? If Planet 9 is hiding in the most distant researchers of its orbit, we'll need a telescope powerful enough to spot it. Brown and Batikin have already begun analyzing data from Japan's Subaru Telescope in Hawaii, which has a better chance of finding the plan, planet PANSTARS does than PANSTARS does. But if this survey fails to complete the job, they'll turn to the forthcoming Vera Rubin Observatory, which is currently under construction in Chile. And this ground-based telescope, which will be equipped with the world's largest digital camera, will let researchers peer farther into the solar system than any of its predecessors allowed, similar to how the James Webb Space Telescope has enabled researchers to look farther across the observable universe than ever before. The observatory is currently slated to open late 2025. With the help of the state-of-the-art telescope, Planet 9 could be found within the next two years, Brown said. However, he also joked that he's been saying that same thing ever since the year 2016. Raymond and Rabinowitz both agree that Planet 9 could be found within a year after the Rubens Observatory comes online. If the telescope could not find the planet within the first few years, however, then the hypothesis is pretty much dead, Raymond said. But Morbidelli and Rabinowitz pointed out that even if the telescope does not find the planet immediately, it could still identify more TNOs, which would help show if the theory is valid, viable. Why does Planet 9 matter? Although scientists remain divided over Planet 9's existence, one thing they all agree on that is that it actually, actually finding the elusive world would likely be the biggest solar system discovery of the century. It would be a remarkable find, Raymond said, and it would be, it would be huge for our understanding of the solar system's origins and evolution. Observing the planet could also teach us more about the formation of the, solar, the uh, evolution of giant planets. This is by Harry Baker on Live Science. It will also explain what, why, what is causing, causing these TNOs to have their uh, orbits skewered like this. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. My Patreon account, the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel.
Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.